Much hype has been around the blockchain technology, and many blockchain projects had emerged over the past few years. It's becoming more and more difficult to keep up with the progress of all these projects. Nonetheless, it's still important for us as a developer to keep ourselves up to date with some of the latest blockchain technology available out there. Hence, which is why I'll be talking about a project which I think you guys might find interesting. The project we'll be looking at today is called the Internet Computer Protocol and is currently being developed by the Definity Foundation. Do you want to create your own token on the blockchain, but you don't have any coding skills or you know coding, but you don't want to own blockchain? I will show you a tool to create your own token in a quick and easy way. To get started, you need to click on create your token. Then the next step, you select your network, so Ethereum or Binance Smart Chain. And that's it. Our token is deployed. That was easy. As you can see with this tool, you don't need to know any coding at all and you can still create your own token in a few easy steps. Next, go check out our tool at tokenmaker.idoblox.com, click on create your token and it will take you to the app. And after with just a few clicks, you will have your own token deployed. This video was made by Harsimar Singh and voiced by me, Joel. Back again with another video. It's a bold claim by Definity that the internet computer is the only blockchain capable of running at web speed and can change how the internet works. They claim it to be blockchain's third greatest innovation after Bitcoin and Ethereum. Yes, that's right. We see everyday blockchains. They do transactions, token transfers, and day-to-day -day blockchain stuff. But here on the internet, the web contents can be directly served to a web browser. Being a front-end developer, I would say that's quite fascinating. This is a very well-backed protocol by the VC firms Andreessen Horowitz and Polychain Capital. It's founded by the Definity Foundation. They're trying to create blockchain singularity by creating a powerful worldwide computer. That means there will be a new kind of decentralized internet and global computing system where millions of computers worldwide, including data centers, could join. This may also lead in the direction of an alternative to cloud services. Eventually, it will run millions of nodes at scale with the help of chain key cryptography. This fundamental breakthrough consists of a set of cryptographic protocols that orchestrate the nodes that make up the internet computer. It's also unnecessary for anyone to download blockchain states to verify the correctness of transactions. Virtually any software can be hosted on this blockchain. These are stored as secure code units and canisters, an advanced form of smart contracts. They can serve HTTP requests created by end users to directly serve interactive web experiences. And the best thing is that the users won't even realize they're interacting with smart contracts. These canisters are tamper-proof and the developers don't have to protect their systems using any firewalls VPN or other traditional IT stack. The code is in the form of WebAssembly bytecode, which can be compiled from high-level programming languages such as Rust or Motoko. Motoko is a new programming language created by the Definity Foundation. Internet Computer is available on large exchanges like Coinbase. Its native token, ICP, is a governance token used to reward data centers. Users generally don't need tokens to interact with dApps on ICP. ICP tokens can be used by developers by converting them into cycles and then utilized to pay for their running canisters that deliver products and services to the market. Another good use of these tokens is to lock up in stake, which in internet computers' terms is known as neuron. You can later utilize these neurons to submit or vote on proposals on how the internet computer is shaped and governed. This way, it operates as an adaptive blockchain which can update and evolve its network in real time. This autonomous governance system is embedded with its protocols called the network nervous system. NNS stores information about what nodes belong to which subnet and also create new subnets as required. Internet Computer comprises many subnet blockchains for scalability and canisters can send messages to other canisters and subnets. But let's not get carried away so quickly with all this hype and claims. There are also some things many people are concerned about. As people believe, this protocol is not yet fully decentralized and is cautiously controlled. Some people also claim that the protocol might be using some exclusive code. One criticism is that to become an ICP node, you need to purchase specific equipment from Definity. Well, from a blockchain perspective, that is pretty centralized. Apart from all the skepticism, another question arises. 
Is it safe to keep the data inside the data centers as it will be a point of failure for the security breach of data? I would like you to put your suggestions on this in the comments below. What I believe is, if this criticism is worked upon, this technology would be groundbreaking to the blockchain industry. It's a relatively new technology that got attention quickly and may have lots of work. Some secondary items will be published later such as build systems, testing infrastructure, and code that defines the internet computer operating system. They're also extending their smart contracts to Bitcoin, which will give each canister its own Bitcoin public key. It'll allow these smart contracts to send or receive their own Bitcoin. Now, the question arises, how many people are actually utilizing this technology to build their applications? There's an extensive catalog of internet computer ecosystem, from wallets to social media dApps. Some exciting projects in the internet computer ecosystem, such as Internet Identity and CanCan, also known as Decentralized TikTok, could be looked upon.